school, it's safe to say that all parents want to set their kids up for success, especially when it comes to their health. Author of Freedom, The Smart Parent's Guide, How to Help Your Child See a Better Life, Dr. Mark Page is here with more. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Well, ha thank you for having me. Of course, it's a pleasure. And so I, I want to know first, what inspired you to write this book? Well, in the last 40 years, the number of kids becoming nearsighted has gone up over 60 percent. Wow. And research shows that being nearsighted can be as dangerous to the health of our eyes as smoking is to the health of our heart. And the stronger the glasses, the higher the risk of going blind. Right. And when I was 12 years old, I learned my grandma was going blind. So we went to visit her in the nursing home, and one of my brothers says to me, Grandma doesn't know what you look like. And my wonderful mother says, she knows what you look like, she just doesn't know your features. Right. So that kind of inspired me to become an eye doctor. And then I realized that when people came in to see me, we'd give them a prescription, they'd be, it'd be amazing, they could see clear. But usually with the kids, within a year, even less sometimes, they'd come back and, and they couldn't see. So we'd have to make them stronger. So he kept making the glasses stronger, and now is that increasing their risk of, of damage later in their life? Right. So I started thinking, is there some way we can make the eyes stronger instead of the glasses stronger? So we've kind of figured out some technology that can actually slow it down. And, and it's very cool technology, and, and we'll get to what that is specifically in a minute. But you, like you were saying, you know, you're an optometrist. You've seen many of these cases. Kids aren't always the best of, at articulating what problems they're having. So yes. what should parents notice? What should they see to know that, you know what, it might be time to get a checkup for the kid? So one of the things is, are they starting to squint? Mm -hmm. So if they're trying to you know, watch TV or, or see the movies, or if they're in school and the teacher notices they're squinting, mm -hmm. that's one of the big factors. Another one is where you can kind of see their eyes are crossing or they're just not pointing at the same position. Mm -hmm. And another one can be where they're just, they're always so close to the TV. Say, you know, sit back here on the couch. Well, they can't see it from back there. Right. So that's another indicator. So it's a sign of a big problem. And now, you know, we're talking about nearsightedness. Is that the same as myopia or is it something? It is, yes. To, okay. Kind of the same. Myopia is kind of the technical term. Nearsightedness, short-sighted. You it. can see up close, but you can't see far away. Okay. And why is it that we should, we should take that so seriously, some, a case like myopia? Well, because when we're, when we're getting nearsighted or myopia, the eye itself is getting longer. Oh. So the retina that lines the inside of the eye, it starts stretching and it stretches too far and it can actually come apart. And that can cause a detached retina, or in other cases, it can actually start bleeding. And if there's bleeding inside the eye, a lot of times that causes ir irreparable damage. Right, right, and so we've sort of been talking, you know, about the, your segment that's been coming up, you call it the braces for the yes. eyes. What is it specifically that you refer to as the braces for the eyes and, and why is it called that? Well, it's, it's what we call the Invisalens. Mm -hmm. So it's like Invisalign for the braces, yeah. Invisalens for the eyes but it does allow the eye to change shape. So it's, it's similar to a contact lens, uh -huh. but kids put it on and go to sleep. And while they're sleeping, the surface of the eye is 78% water. So it can actually change the shape of the eye while they're sleeping. So they wake up and remove it, and it's like, oh wow, okay, wow. I can see. So the TV, the board at school, movies, all that's back into focus, but because of the way the eye is reshaped, there's, uh, it's almost like a treatment ring. Mm. And that treatment ring is what can help stabilize the progression and slow it down, or in some cases, almost completely stop it from getting any worse. And this is something that the kids or the parents can actually take, take off and, and put in themselves? Yes. Wow. So we have some patients as young as five years of age because their prescription is already, you know, way like a minus six power at five years old. We know the risk of their damage later on is going to be severe. And so is this really like a long-term fix as much as, say, a surgery would be, or, or are they going to need something else down the line? Right. So it, it does require the therapy. So mm -hmm. it's like the retainer, so you have to keep using it. Yeah. But for the LASIK surgery, you have to be at least 18 years of age. And most of these kids, by the time they're that age, their prescription is, is so high that their risk is, is already there. So they, they, we want to give some therapy now to try and help prevent that from getting so bad as they get older. It's such a great way to, to sort of prevent future problems. And, and if people really want to learn a little bit more about it, if they, if they want to actually get this treatment, how easy is it to go and get this right now? Uh, there are only a few doctors across the country that are performing it. Mm -hmm. So it is a very complex process. Yeah. and involves a big investment in, in equipment, uh, technology, and time for the doctor. So a lot of doctors just, just get them glasses and get them out here and get, get more people in here. Mm -hmm. 
where I've kind of realized because my grandma, my dad is blind in his right eye, there's kind of a family connection that I, I want to try and give something back. Can we do something that'll make a difference for future generations? Certainly. What people can do now, though, is they can get your book. What is it exactly that people, by picking this up, what are they going to get out of it? So there are other um, strategies and behaviors that can parents can help with their children. So they did one study of third graders that didn't wear glasses, and they found that the one kids that spent at least 12 hours a week outside had a 25% less risk of even needing glasses compared to kids that only spent like eight hours a week outside. So we have some of the other information and research in there that help uh, parents understand that better as well. Well, certainly, you know, like I always say, parenting doesn't come with a guidebook. Taking care of your kids and their health doesn't either. But resources like this are really going to help parents go that extra step to make sure that their kids are healthy. So, Doctor, very fascinating stuff. Congratulations on everything you've thank accomplished you so with, re with furthering this research. And I want to thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, here's a special offer for the next 19 callers. You can get a free evaluation to see if you or your child is a candidate for the Invisalens eye retainers. Now, normal retail value on this is $298. If you want more information, call 480-568-5574 or visit thesmartparentsguide.com for more information.